this hearing will now come to order. On behalf of uh, Ranking Member Banks and myself and the subcommittee, thank you all for being here. Um, in searching this committee's history, we could not find any evidence that there has been a broad oversight hearing examining cybersecurity management challenges at the Department of Veterans Affairs. The Subcommittee on Technology Modernization is going to chart a new course today. Cybersecurity is not a challenge, is a new, not a new challenge in the federal government. Each year, the offices of Inspector General are mandated to audit compliance with the federal cybersecurity framework that has been established to protect information, programs, and assets from threats. Those threats have become more complex, and the potential for harm has only increased since the Federal Information Security Management Act, FISMA, was passed in 2002. In the intervening years, we have also seen how big a target the healthcare sector has become for bad actors. Throughout the world, healthcare institutions have been breached and extorted, and data have been held hostage or stolen. Government healthcare institutions have not been immune from this either. Britain's National Health Service was a victim of one of the largest ransomware attacks in history. Almost daily, there are news reports or notifications by hospitals, insurance companies, and other entities that there has been a breach and that data may have been compromised. These attacks and breaches cost millions and impact the health care and benefits delivery. They also cause Americans to lose trust in institutions' ability to protect some of the most sensitive data there is. At the same time, the reliance on electronic personal data, the electronic sharing of that data, and the modernization of systems to support health benefits and public service delivery is growing. As this reliance on technology increases, so does the risk. Therefore, it only makes sense that one of our country's largest providers of health care and benefits should be at the forefront of addressing these risks. VA is in the process of modernizing numerous systems to adjudicate disability claims, provide educational benefits, and deliver health care. Information security management should be a key component of those efforts from the outset. However, my concern is that assessing risk and developing mitigation strategies does not have enough attention. Many OIG and GAO reports on security incidents cite management failures or lack of internal oversight as a reason behind the incidents. Too often, strong leadership on risk management and information security becomes an afterthought or a paperwork exercise done once a year for the FISMA audit. Even worse, it only becomes an issue after the system has been compromised and sensitive data is put at risk. Cybersecurity is a challenging and complex issue and it requires an ever-changing response. The key is that the response needs to be a whole of government or a whole of agency effort. Every component of an agency needs to be involved from the frontline staff employing good cyber hygiene to acquisition uh, professionals assessing the risk in the supply chain to IT professionals assessing the risks of new and legacy technology and to leadership engaging in strategic assessments to understand the challenges and developing the plans to meet them. The purpose of today's hearing is to hear from VA leadership about cybersecurity landscape the challenges in the approach to risk management. We will hear from the Office of Inspector General about how the VA has fared in cyber risk management over the last several years and the outstanding concerns. We will also hear from the Government Accountability Office about responding to cybersecurity challenges and best practices for risk management. I would like this hearing to serve as a foundation for other cybersecurity-related oversight that the subcommittee will engage in over the next year. The better we understand the challenges and the risks, the better we are able to assess whether we are making progress and what more needs to be done. The protection of VA technology and data is not a hypothetical issue or something that occurs in a vacuum. These systems and data serve to support the care and the benefits our veterans have earned. I have heard from veterans loud and clear about privacy and data security concerns. 
And those concerns only become more amplified as more systems become electronic. We don't want to hold up progress that the VA is making on technology modernization, as we all know it is sorely needed. But we do need to be mindful of the risks that, the v that we are taking as VA moves ahead. Further, as we encourage veterans to use VA resources, and most especially to find the support and care for the wounds, both visible and hidden, VA must show that it is a secure, that it is secure, it can be trusted, and that it has the tools, policies, and the leadership to protect veterans' health data and personal information. This is all a part of a sacred obligation we have made to those who have served our country. I thank all the witnesses for being here today, and I look forward to your testimony.